Santa's decapitated heads everywhere. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Eldie Shire Lady here and welcome back to Crazy Craft. As you can see, I'm wearing my lovely reindeer onesie and I've still got that walrus hat on from episode one. I told you I was never taking it off and I meant it. So quite a lot of my Crazy Craft neighbors actually already have their Christmas decorations up, but that's not what we're gonna do today. Today, we're going to pull some little pranks. Just little ones, nothing too mean. So if you watched the last episode, you'll know that I have this chicken backpack and it actually produces eggs every now and then. So I've been storing up a bunch of these eggs and I'm going to use them in a prank. So this was actually suggested by one of you guys. You said that we should make a hole under somebody's house and fill it with mobs so that they make a load of noise and they can never find the source of all the noise. So we're gonna need a spade. And who shall our victim be? Hmm. I think I'm actually gonna pull this prank on Ollie because the other day he was complaining about how loud the birds are near his house. So I think this chicken prank would really push him over the edge. Okay, so I am just gonna dig down in random places and make little holes and then fill them with chickens. So first of all, down here, we'll just spawn in a bunch of them. Okay, we definitely need more chickens than this. Oh man, this is all we got. Seven chickens? Are you serious? We're gonna need a lot more chickens. I guess we can just breed them together with these seeds once they've grown into adults. And then after a few centuries or so, we'll have a load of chickens. Two hours later. Ah, the horrible sound of hundreds of tiny chickens buried under the ground in various places. It's probably gonna take him a really long time to find where I put all of the chickens. So I'm gonna leave a little sign so he knows who to be mad at. Good luck, Mother Clucker. From Lizzie, XOXO. Have fun with all your chickens, Ollie. My next victim is going to be Joel. As you all know, he built this huge tree house, but unfortunately, he hasn't paid much attention to filling it with many decorative items. So I thought we should give him a hand decorating it. And the best way to decorate for Christmas is Santa's decapitated heads everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this whole place with a bunch of Santa heads. Oh, I think he's gonna be really pleased with this. I'm gonna put so many Santas in so many weird places that he's still finding them three years later. So I've kept this part of his house as he left it, and then this part has been Santified. They are everywhere. And honestly, they're kind of starting to freak me out. <laughs> but I think this looks hilarious, and I wanna pull this prank on some more of the residents. I think Scott would like a little Christmas treat from me, and I'm gonna do that in the form of presents. Look how much room you have for presents! What if you wake up on Christmas morning and the whole room is covered in presents? This is like that prank with the glasses of water, except with presents, so I wouldn't complain. You know what? I don't think one floor of presents is enough. Oh yeah, I think he'll be very happy with this. Now we just have to wait for him to log on and actually notice it. Okay, now that we're done with this chicken backpack, actually, I'm gonna take it off because the constant appearance of little eggs is actually really quite annoying. So let's take this off and pop it back in here. And I think I'm gonna actually quickly make a new backpack. Maybe there is a Christmassy one. A cake backpack, that might be a good idea. Ooh, cookie! Right, let's try and make the cake backpack. So, oh, we're gonna need some of these eggs, wheat, sugar, milk, and a backpack. How's it going, donkey? Kinda forgot you were here. We should probably find a place for you to live, shouldn't we? Yeah, I'll get right to it. Just as soon as I make a backpack. Oh, we need to make an actual cake as well. Oh no, I don't have any cows to milk. What the heck? Does anyone on this server have any cows? I used to have cows, but the rainbow bled on them and they died. I think Yami might have a barn full of animals. We might have to just go and tickle some of the cows' udders. Oh no! What the heck? I'm pretty sure this is not supposed to be empty. What happened? I thought she had animals. Oh, hello piggy, can I milk you? No. <gasps> There's a cow. Come here, cow. Let me take your milk. And while we're over here, I'm actually gonna show you Lauren's house because she joined the server recently and she has built a little planet for herself. That looks pretty freaking cool. I'm just gonna, oh, look at these blocks. These are so, it looks like a creeper blew up. Wasn't me. Ugh. It's not very easy to swim up though. That's my only complaint. Oh, this is cute. She's got a little bedroom and hey, 
She's got a boyfriend. I want a boyfriend. This has given me an idea. So we have the cake. If we just put that... Ooh, achievement! Ta-da! We have the cake backpack! Time to try it on. <gasps> oh, that is cute. That looks very cute with my new reindeer skin. So I'm going to be rocking this for a while. And we're actually going to go ahead and prank CPK next. And I have just the idea for him. Up in my room of mysteries. Just kidding, it's an Easter bunny, everyone knows that. A whale spawn egg. <gasps> I'm going to use this. But first, I want to retrieve all the girlfriend spawn eggs. Now, I'm not going to use these for myself because I already have plenty of girlfriends. And I'm kind of starting to run out of towers to keep them in. So, we're going to give them away. Ta-da! A dispenser. This will all be part of my master plan to prank CPK. But first, whales. I want them in my pond right here. <gasps> Look at it! It's magnificent! Hello, Mr. Whale. Do you want a friend? There you go. I don't think they really fit in the pond. Oh my gosh, you're not supposed to be out there on land. I think you'll find you belong in the water. And you too. So I appear to have some defective whales. I'm sure my prank on CPK will go well. So I settled the redstone down here so that when he stands on the pressure plate, it will activate. And of course, a girlfriend will pop out from a dispenser which is hidden quite well up here. So let's fill in this block and test it out. Do 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 do. <gasps> what? A girlfriend? Where did you come from? There might be a few times that it happens and he doesn't realise what's going on, but after he has about 20 girlfriends in his house, I'm pretty sure he'll think something's up. Let's test it out again. Yep, definitely works. So I guess we'll see how everyone reacts to their pranks when they log in for their next episodes. So to finish off this episode, I did mention that I would be giving presents. And Ollie has actually organised a cute little secret Santa. And I have been given my secret Santa target here in this book. So we shall reveal who I will be getting a present for. My target is Ollie. Why do I feel like everyone's target is Ollie? And everyone's just going to have to give gifts to Ollie? <laughs> okay, so we are going to get him the greatest gift. I just don't know what to give him yet. Oh, I know the perfect thing to get him. Considering his love for his sheep, I'm going to get him a load of sheep related gifts. So let's start off with a sheep backpack, which is just white wool and pink wool and a backpack. Once again, I wish I could add this backpack to my own collection, but it is a gift. Oh my gosh, we don't have any wool. Oh wow, we are going to have to go and look for some wool. But where the heck would we find a sheep? Maybe Scott has a farm. Nope, he only has reindeer, just like everyone else on the server. Oh, there's a sheep. I could just naked affair this one. When the heck did Waffles build this huge wall around his house? Ow! <gasps> sheep! Okay, just a few more sheep to go. I need a snack. Baked potato! Why is there a girl inside this present? Scott, this is weird and unusual. What the heck? Scott, this is so bizarre. What have you done here? I don't even want to know. Oh, so cute. I wish it was for my own collection, but it is not. It is for Ollie. I'm going to put the present in here so that I can keep it a secret before I have to give it to him. He will never think to look here. <laughs> what other sheep-related gifts are there? Ooh, a sheep pet. Ta-da! The sheep pet. I'm going to add that to the gift. And finally, I'm actually going to make him a sheep plushie from the deco bench. Ta-da! And that is the end of his sheep-themed gifts. So moving on, I now want to make him a jukebox and you will see why very shortly. That is wood and a diamond. So now we have a jukebox. And now to go with the jukebox, I want to make this portal disc of the song Still Alive. So we just need to smelt a weighted companion cube. Oh, we're going to need a rose to turn this storage cube into... Excuse me. So we're actually going to need a rose as well to turn a weighted storage cube into a companion cube. I think a poppy should work. Aha! A weighted storage cube. So if we pop this on the ground... Oh, cute! And then we give it a poppy? <gasps> it becomes a companion cube! Oh, it loves me! Okay, but I need it to not love me. Aha! Now all we have to do is smelt the poor little companion cube. And it should turn into a portal disc. It did. Now, I must test it out 
I'm just testing out the gift first. This was a triumph. Yep, it works. So there we have it. That is our gift for Ollie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to see more, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Also, if you happen to know how my neighbours reacted to the pranks I pulled on them, then please do let me know in the comments. Also, leave some suggestions for how I should decorate the castle for Christmas, and the next time I see you, it will be very Christmassy. See, people do know what a reindeer is. Prepared, Mr. T. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's looking a little bit bobbly at the moment. <laughs>